We can all say we've been taken advantage of when trying to help out a friend or family member. But how many can say that they've had their house blown up? That's exactly what happened to Brian Beekman on Friday afternoon. Video journalist Naveen Day has the story. Doing a good deed resulted in a total loss of his house and belongings. Brian Beekman says he let a friend and his girlfriend move into his garage only hours before a series of explosions took his house and everything in it. Sean and his girlfriend just finished moving in uh, at about 5 in the morning. And, I mean, I didn't see anything in the garage. I gave them their privacy. They had the windows covered to the door to the garage. And, yeah, me and a buddy were having a beer downstairs. Asked his girlfriend, Sean's girlfriend, if she wanted to come have a beer with us. And five minutes after she came down, there was an explosion. And that's when we rushed up the stairs to see the whole garage engulfed in flames. And we smelt a really bad chemical smell, not something that is like propane or like gas, but something that might be used to cook drugs with. Beekman lost a leg and arm nine years ago when he was hit by a taxi driver while he was cycling. His wheelchair and prosthetic leg were left behind in the fire while he managed to climb out of his basement while it was burning down around him. My prosthetic leg, I lost that. That was 80, 90, 80 to 90,000 just for that. I mean, I just got brand new couches. They're, those are gone. Uh, even the other sectional that I had, gone. Um, all my electronics, my TV, my stereo, clothes, like everything, it's gone. Fundraising campaigns have started to help Beekman purchase new mobility equipment and amenities. For Bridge City News, I'm Naveen Day.